Hey, hey, hey there, my RC people. How's it going? Tony here, CCXRC. Boy, has it been a while. It seems like it's been forever. But don't worry, I have been running RCs. I've been breaking them and having a blast. Just have not had time to do any videos recently. Uh, summer's been just nuts for me here, not only around the house with things going on, but also with travel for work and just work projects and we've been getting the tanks going on out here so uh, just got a salt water tank set up in the garage here in the hobby room but we've got up here on the bench the X-Max and we'll show you what we've got going on here uh, broke this twice recently but this wheel now this is how it's supposed to turn up and down because I'm holding it upright but this one goes all over the place we uh, snap something on the inside here and so we're gonna take this apart because we want to have it up and running for this 4th of July weekend we have a long weekend then I have some time off from work we're going camping want to just have this ready I know I've destroyed some of the bearings in the front here and so we got to get those replaced uh, but I don't have them yet and I don't know when they're coming in I called to see if the order had come in yet at our local hobby shop, Debbie's RC World, the greatest place here in uh, Hampton Roads, Virginia to get your RC and hobby stuff. Um, not sponsored by them or get any kickbacks from them in any way other than they're cool guys and they offer just a cool spot for us to come and run and be able to get stuff same day. So I do like that about them. I uh, love hanging out up there. So uh, I've got to uh, get this off. We'll start prepping it for when we do get the bearing, see if there's anything else broken that needs to be replaced that I can maybe pick up there tomorrow on my lunch break. But again, I want to have it running, and if it does, if the bearings don't come in, then it looks like I'm going to have to probably do some expensive shipping uh, to get these odd-sized bearings that they run in these, uh, these carriers here. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get this wheel off, and then we'll take a look inside. All right, all right, all right. So we've got to get this wheel off. They've got these huge wheel nuts on here. Um, hopefully, yeah, it's pretty loose already. Take it off. I think I had this off before just to give a quick look. Uh, but this will kind of give us an idea of what has happened. <laughs> Check that out. You can see the bearings right there. It's pulled out, snapped. Let me zoom in here for you. Yeah. Maybe tilt in, give you a nice good look at it. So yeah, that's not supposed to be out of there. Pulled out. This whole thing is pulling through, so it looks like this whole uh, carrier probably snapped. I, there's actually, I can feel the outer parts of this bearing here is uh, peeled away. So I think we're missing a whole bearing. I mean, it's got to be on here. But yeah, there's probably just missing pieces all over the place. So we we'll keep uh, keep taking this apart here and uh, get a closer look. But definitely some carnage happened when this hit the house at uh, well, let's just say it looked like it was pretty much full speed when it hit the house. I was not driving. Uh, one of my friend's kids was driving it and it was their first time running these bigger RC's and so he was doing great with the grave digger so we let him give it a go with the X-Max and he was doing great so uh, I don't know what happened uh, that or what changed <laughs> When, uh, when he full speeded into the house because he was doing great even when he was returning uh, coming back at the uh, at the house and a lot of people struggle with that when you're coming back and everything's reversed but he did really really good so um, just that one little mistake and uh, you know it's funny because I had just repaired the upper arm on the uh, the rear from doing flips up at uh, Debbie's RC World, they had a, a ramp set up on their a little outdoor oval that sounds like somebody's taking the initiative to uh, to build some jumps out there again uh, on the outdoor little course that they have. So 
Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm kind of rambling. So, uh, yeah, I broke that and I was showing them how quick and easy it is to actually fix these things. And uh, we had it back up and running because they use this pin system. As you see, I'm pulling these pins out that hold kind of everything in place. So I've got, what else do I got to do? There's one more here, it looks like, on the, the bottom that we're going to pull out. And hopefully most of this is all going to come apart. Probably a good thing, this all needs to be cleaned. It's pretty caked right now with, uh, with dirt. So we'll get this all cleaned up. When we do our repair. Alrighty guys, looks like the problem has a pretty easy solution. We just busted one bearing in there. It's completely disintegrated. It uh, happened when my friend's son hit the house again at full throttle and uh, it disintegrated here. Let me just quickly show you what we're looking at. So here's what we've taken apart. But the 5182A, which is a 20 by 27 by 4 ball bearing. So that's it. I've got that on order already at Debbie's RC World, but I just, just to make sure I have it this weekend, went ahead, picked up one on Amazon. I'm going to have it sent here on Saturday because I only had to do one set of bearings, so it's way cheaper to only have to do one expedited shipping item. So, should be back up and in business this weekend. So, thanks for stopping by, guys. I love it when problems are easy to solve. I actually picked up a new carrier. But uh, I don't think there's actually anything wrong with this one, uh, other than that the parts of the, the bearing are still wedged in here, so I've got to try and pull that little ring out of there. But the, uh, the, the whole uh, carrier itself looks like it's still intact. All of the bearings from that ball bearing are completely gone, uh, but this one is still spinning spinning pretty uh, nicely, actually. It's smooth still, so I don't feel any anything wrong I'll just clean that out and uh, lube it up with a little bit of marine grease again and we'll stick it all back in have it up and running this weekend hopefully for you guys we'll check you later have fun RCing and have a happy 4th of July if you don't hear from me before then peace